How's it going guys? Welcome to Comic Punch. I'm York. And I'm Lindsay. And today we're going to be reacting to the D23 special look at the new Star Wars film, The Rise of Skywalker. Woo! Now this is labeled a special look, uh, not a teaser or a trailer. Um, we haven't watched this yet, so we don't know what exactly it entails. Um, but the internet seems to be freaking out about it, so we thought we would kind of record our reaction to it. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here, but we don't really know what to expect. Before we get into this, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have no certain time frame of us uploading videos, so also if you want notifications of when we do upload a video, make sure you hit that little bell, and let's get into this. Don't try and hit me with the nostalgia, Disney. <laughs> Dang. You see all those Star Destroyers? Why is his eyes red? Dang. Holy crap. Well, first of all, definitely thought we clicked on the wrong thing when it started. So if you saw that look, that's what my face was about, is I thought we clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> like, it's the trailer for the original Star Wars. <laughs> she looks so cool. No, Disney, no. You try to pull the wool over everyone's eyes, I ain't gonna fall for it. That's a dream sequence. That's a vision. That's like some... You don't know. That's when... That's her. That's that's a vision or something. My girl could go bad. Disney, no. Disney, that's what they want you to think. Disney can't pull the wool over my eyes. Bad girl Ray Ray. Nope, not happening. I bet everything I own. No, I don't. I'm calling it now. That is fake. That's a misdirection. Just for hype. Just for the trailer. That's not really going to happen. What did I say when The Force Awakens first came out and we saw it? Didn't I say it would be cool if... Uh, oh, wait. Do you mean Rey and Kylo switching places? Like Kylo ultimately being good and like Rey flipping and being like, nah. Yep, because in, in The Force Awakens, Kylo is struggling with being... He's on the dark side kind of fighting going back towards the light side. And Rey is fighting going towards the dark side. So I said, wouldn't it be cool if in the second movie they just totally flipped? Kylo becomes the protagonist. Rey becomes the villain. And then in the third one they fight. Like, that'd be the ultimate twist. That'd be, like, the new twist. That'd be the, that'd be the new Luke, I am your father. Mm -hmm. Having Rey turn, like, having him flip. We've never seen that. Name one movie or story where that's happened. Yeah, villains have turned good and... Heroes have turned bad, but not the main character. Mm -hmm. So to see a, a flop like that, I was like, that would be so cool. I hope they do that. 
I think that's what they're trying to tease. Well, they're not teasing Tyler, Kylo being good. Yeah. But they're teasing Ray turning bad and I just, it's just not gonna happen. It's the final movie. Yeah. Why would they, they're running out of story. They, they have two hours, three hours to tell this story. They're not gonna waste time. I'm sure they'll flirt with it a little bit, but it's, it's not gonna happen. Cool <laughs> moment though. Dual lightsaber looks badass. I just, I don't buy it. Apparently my grammar goes out the window when I get really excited because when C-3PO's eyes are red, I go, why is his eyes, why is his why eyes, eyes re red? Why <laughs> eyes red? Why, why robot man red eyes? Uh, I got too excited. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. He gets hacked. Don't know what the red arm's about either because they don't explain it in the movie. Yeah, so they won't, maybe they won't explain the red eyes either. Little by little. C-3PO is just gonna be all red at one point and we'll never know why. Maybe he's gonna be this new Sith Lord. Never. Darth C-3PO. Not my little anxious buddy. The character I relate with the most. <laughs> of course you do. He's anxious. He's a goody two shoes. He just wants to follow the rules. <laughs> I mean, that was a cool looking trailer. Um, all those those hundred Star Destroyers, that oh, looked yeah. insane, like shit's gonna go down. Um, Rey throwing the, the lightsaber like a boomerang, the Darth Maul dual saber at the end, them fighting on top of a ship that's falling into the ocean, it looks like. All cool moments. But here's the thing. Every Star Wars trailer looks cool. That's true. I've never seen a Star Wars trailer that doesn't look cool. So the question is not, how did that trailer look? The question is, are these writers and directors gonna give us a satisfying conclusion to the final movie? And I don't know, I hope so. So I don't have a lot of negative things to say about Star Wars. I actually enjoy every movie that comes out. Um, I did have a little bit of disappointment after seeing what J.J. Abrams built up with The Force Awakens only for Ryan Johnson to come in and kind of go in a whole different direction, it felt like. Um, I feel like we didn't get a lot of conclusions on or satisfying storylines that were brought up in The Force Awakens. I think that was the problem with switching directors. You can definitely tell it was different directors. I'm hoping that they can kind of get it back with this new movie that's coming out. Um, but, you know, even though there was some disappointments with The Last Jedi, I still liked the movie. Um, I'm a noob and anytime I can go see Star Wars in theaters, like, I'm all for it. I'm a little bit harsher when it comes to Star Wars. Um, I think between, between the two of us, I'm definitely the cynic. I agree with you that the change um, between movies was part of the problem. I don't necessarily blame the directors though, um, because the original Star Wars, the, the original trilogy had all three different directors. Mm -hmm. um, but the key was that George Lucas, um, as well as his wife, you know, that production team was cohesive throughout all three movies. So it was, it was the Lucas's vision that led these movies. I wouldn't mind a director change. I don't feel like there's a producer type, like there's not a there's not a Kevin Feige for the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Yeah, K Kathleen Kennedy is is whatever role she is. Is she president, CEO of LucasArts, whatever, of Lucasfilm? But she's not, she doesn't have a reign on all of these stories like I feel like someone like a Kevin Feige does. Yeah. She, I feel like they delegate a lot and there's just no clear vision. I mean, they've come out and said that with The Last Jedi, that they didn't have a footprint for the trilogy. How are you gonna make a trilogy and not know what the heck you're doing? So I, I feel like it's just, it's poor planning more than anything. Yeah. Um, I guess that's true, because there's a lot of movies that have different yeah. directors each movie, and they have different vibes, but ultimately they yeah. go together well. Yeah, because you can have, yeah, like, I know I'm gonna compare it to the MCU a lot, but even like Harry Potter, um, you know, there's a lot of different things like that. Even like, if you look at television, a lot of great television shows have different directors 
each episode. Mm -hmm. But they know where the story is going. Yeah, and they keep a cohesive, you know, they might feel different, you know, and that's kind of refreshing, you know, different, different style, different directing style, different camera work, but different, you know, different themes, but it, it holds together, you know, cohesively to tell a story, to tell one story. Yeah. And I feel like Star Wars, this new trilogy just, just hasn't done that yet. Um, so I'm wondering how they're, if they're going to wrap it up nicely, you know, if it's going to, if they're going to bring it back or if they're just going to throw a ton of new stuff in there. I don't know. Tons of loose ends. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. If they're going to throw a ton of more loose ends or not clear up anything from the first two movies. I hate to be a cynic because that trailer looked really good and I, we're going to see it. I'm really excited. I'm just, ever since this new trilogy started, I've been cautiously optimistic. Yeah. I think I'm just a sucker for Star Wars. So I get caught up in the soundtrack, like the score and the visual aspects that I kind of let some things that I typically wouldn't let slide in other movies go. Um, But I'm going to be upfront with that. So (laughs) I might not have the best um, opinion on this because I am blinded by the light <laughs> well and that's the thing like i know people get into like heated debates about star wars online there's no right or wrong if you're not excited that's fine if you're this is going to be your most anticipated movie of the year that's fine too it's object like art is is subjective what do you guys think of this trailer comment below let us know and as always if you like this video give us a like click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time